news, shall we? So this is a reported by NPR.org, and this is a <laughs> fantastic, of course, <laughs> because, well, hey, I tell you what, everything we do is fantastic, isn't it? Uh, at least humorous in some, some manner. Okay, let's go to this. Uh, we've got a uh, uh, headline reads this. Even if it's bonkers, poll finds many believe QAnon and other conspiracy theories. All right. So uh, interestingly, we're going to talk about some of this and why. Okay. I think we're going to spend a little bit extra time today and uh, maybe discuss some of this stuff. So let's just read from the article here and uh, see, see where this is going to lead us. All right. So a significant number of Americans believe misinformation about the origins of the coronavirus and the recent presidential election as well as conspiracy theories like QAnon, according to a new NPR IPSOS poll, Ipsos poll. Uh, So 40% of respondents said they believe the coronavirus was made in a lab in China, even though there is no evidence for this. Scientists say the virus was transmitted to humans from another species. All right, so that's that's the the official narrative, right? 40% of respondents said they believe the coronavirus was made in a lab in China. All right. Okay, so uh, we're going to just stop right there, and uh, and of course it says that uh, uh, it refutes it in the same paragraph as you can see right here. Uh, scientists say the virus was transmitted to humans from another species. All right, so okay, so why do why do people think this particular one? I just did a little, just uh, some quick digging. I didn't even have to look very hard, but uh, there's some some official sources that are really pointing out uh, this is the case. Let's go to this clip, and we'll find out uh, why people may think this. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says there's, quote, enormous evidence the COVID-19 pandemic originated in a lab in Wuhan, echoing remarks made last week by President Trump. Speaking to ABC's This Week on Sunday, Pompeo said it's not the first time that the world has been exposed to viruses as a result of failures in a Chinese lab, adding that China has had its history of running substandard labs. Now, despite being highly critical of China's handling of the matter, Pompeo declined to comment on whether he believes the virus was released intentionally. Last Thursday, President Trump also claimed he had seen evidence that the virus had originated in a Chinese lab. Okay, so we have official sources. We have the President of the United States, whether you believe him or not. We have uh, Mike Pompeo, who is the Secretary of State and uh, was actually head of the CIA at some point, uh, actually making statements that uh, corroborate these theories, right? Right here. 40% of respondents said they believe the coronavirus was made in a lab in China, even though there is no evidence for this. It says right here in the article, no evidence. And yet you can go find statements from actual state officials here in the United States that claim this is a possibility and maybe even the case. Okay. So explain to me this, right? So we have these fractured narratives of conspiracy theories when we know exactly where they came from, okay, exactly what the sources on these are, but these these stupid journalistic outlets can't even take the most basic steps and maybe find where this information came from. It's it's easier to slam the ideas, right, and say that, uh, well, look at 40% of, of Americans are straight up knuckleheads, right? Like, that's, that's what they're getting at here. Okay, we've got a little bit more on that just before we move on with some more of this article. Now, check this out. So, I, I did just a little bit more digging, and not even a lot. Like I said, it didn't even take five minutes to find this information. So, and I'm just, again, some guy on the internet, just like you, just like all the rest of us, no, no, no special connections here, uh, no special ideas. I'm just parsing the news cycle and calling bullshit when I see it. All right. So this is bullshit. This is bullshit because there are statements from people that specifically say it's possible it came from a lab. Okay. Probably even. So that was the report regarding Mike Pompeo. Okay. Now check this out. Let's go to Pompeo's statements straight out of his own mouth. Let's hear this. I can tell you that there is a significant amount of evidence that this came from that laboratory in Wuhan. Look, the best experts so far seem to think it was man-made. I have no reason to disbelieve that at this point. Your your office of the DNI says the consensus, the scientific consensus was not man-made or genetically modified. That's right. I, I agree with that. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen their analysis. I've seen the summary that you saw that was released publicly. I have no reason to doubt that that is accurate at this okay, point. Okay, so just to be clear, you do not think it was man-made or genetically modified? I've seen what the intelligence community has said. I have no reason to believe that they've got it wrong. Okay, clear as mud, clear as mud. But you hear exactly what he's saying, right? He He's saying he's got evidence suggesting from uh, uh, in, intel briefings that it was 
at some point in this lab in Wuhan. And so uh, declined to actually uh, say whether it was um, it was a released uh, intentionally or not. But this is actually what's going on here. Right. So so we've got statements from officials here in the United States saying specifically that it was this this virus was was in a lab in Wuhan at some point and got out. Okay, so so again. Right. So so we're going to shrug our shoulders as a as a a newsroom, as a community, as whatever it is. Right. As just the mainstream media, like they always do. This is NPR, the state funded uh, um, garbage that comes out of there. But but here we go. So remember, 40 percent of respondents said they believe the coronavirus was made in a lab in China, even though there is no evidence for this. Well, there we go. I just pulled up two very quick articles where they talked about evidence for this. All right. So if we've seen it, maybe not, because, of course, it's, it's going to be hidden behind uh, uh, national security and uh, the rest of this. Right. So at per usual, we can't get at the direct evidence ourselves. So it's, at some point, we have to rely on statements made by uh uh, officials, right? And uh, how can we when everything they say flip flops back and forth on a daily basis? All right. So now, whose fault is this? All right. If you want to, if you want to point to conspiracy theorists and say that they're, you know, bonkers. Here we go. Back to the headline of this. Even if it's bonkers, poll finds many believe QAnon and other conspiracy theories. And the first one they start with, okay, is that the, uh, the people believe the coronavirus was made to lab in Wuhan. All right. So. And it says right here in the article, scientists say, scientists say the virus was transmitted to humans from another species. All right. So with uh, no transparency coming out of China regarding that and officials here saying they have evidence to suggest it did actually originate in a lab. Who are the morons here? Right. The people saying it, the people believe in it. And then the story flip flops back and forth. You guys know what's up with this. This is not this is a this is one of those. Again, you know, but but the narrative is shit on the people that are suspicious of the statements that come from elected officials and uh, appointed officials. Right. So anyway, uh, so just a little bit more of this and then we'll and then we'll keep on moving here. But uh, OK, so 40 percent of the respondents, we just read that you know, one third of Americans believe that voter fraud helped Joe Biden win the 2020 election, despite the fact that courts, election officials and the Justice Department have found no evidence of widespread fraud that could have changed the outcome. Right. Again, this is NPR. I, I, I don't expect anything else from them because they're they're just a state sponsored propaganda. It's it's more garbage. Right. They're, they're going to back up the state instead of a. Uh, uh, the flip flopping lies that come out and try and expose the lies. But, uh, you, you know, this again, who's to blame for this? So instead of um, the, 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 these guys in particular, NPR, let's say, being honest, being actually honest about this information and why people believe it and where it might may have come from. They they just shit on 40 uh, percent, right? 40 percent of the people, they just shit on them and say, hey, look, it's bonkers. This, these ideas are bonkers. And people believe this garbage, right? This whole article. I linked it. You guys can read it yourselves. You can you can chuckle as you as you see how they just shit on one thing after another. There, there's some basis to this stuff. There, there are sources you can actually go easily find on the Internet coming out of people's mouths that suggest these things are true. Elected officials in many cases. Now, of course, elected officials are lying scumbags for sure. But still, so who is to blame for this? Who's to blame for this whole conspiracy madness and all the rest of this stuff and why people don't trust the government, why people don't trust the media? Yeah. You know who's to blame? The government and the media, because they could be honest about these things, right? At least say if they can't answer a question, they could say, sorry, I can't answer that. But uh, in this instance, it's just bonkers, right? So here we go. More media spin telling you you're stupid because you believe things that can easily be traced back to statements made by elected officials. It's just dumb. It's just dumb. Super Vike, what's up, says lump it in with conspiracy and it's super easy to dismiss. And that's exactly it. And that's why that's why I call this conspiracy news. OK, it has nothing to do with uh, many of these things. These things are not conspiracies whatsoever. But the conspiracy lies in the fact that they don't talk about what's actually going on out there. Instead, they'd rather shit on it just like this. And uh, here we are. So who's to blame? Who's to blame? The people that are suspicious of the media and the government or the media and the government themselves. I think it's an easy, it's an easy take. It's literally an easy take for me that uh, they're responsible. They, they have sown disinformation for years, decades, an unbelievable amount of time. And then they, then they're what they wonder why people are suspicious of the information they release.
You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's dumb. This whole thing is really dumb. So yeah, I mean, it's easy to find. It's the information is easy to find. They just refuse to go look. They refuse to speculate in these instances. So was Mike Pompeo, Pompeo straight up lying about this? Like literally just spitting stupidness. And that's what was going on. Uh, was he trying to stoke uh, uh, tensions between uh, us and China? What, like, what's happening here? There, there's a ton of information going on that's just, uh, the, the more you look at it, the more it pisses pisses me off anyway. I don't know if you're pissed off, but I'm pissed off about this stuff. It's like, come on, like, really? Like, this is this is not how we have a conversation, right? This is not how we get information out by shitting on people that don't trust your narratives, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. Stupidness. All right. Let's see. We got uh, hold on. Let's, uh, let's tie this one in since we've got this. Uh, let's just uh, slap this one in here. Um, so here we go. Here's one of the articles I found from Forbes. And of course they're shitting on Mike, Mike Pompeo, who, uh, again, was the head of the CIA, right? I think you could probably argue that if you have any, any actual, um, uh, uh official that knows more about anything, uh, uh uh, like classified information wise, it's probably going to be the person at the head of the CIA, right? Like the most clandestine operation, the three letter alphabet agency is the CIA. All right. They, they do a lot of really uh, shady shit and they do it uh, kind of uh, with zero transparency whatsoever. So of course this guy knows a ton of things that are going on, right? So whatever, uh, there's, there's your article. I linked it. You guys can follow this and it's, it is what it is, right? Um, but uh, if, if anybody knows, as much as possible, right? Uh, kind of uh, coming out of the compartmentalization of government, it would be somebody like this. Uh, Gina Haspel now, who's the head of the CIA now, right? Mike Pompeo, who was previously. So, I mean, there's, there's, a, uh, there's something to this, right? So is he just a disinformation spinster here? A lying piece of garbage like, like the rest of these politicians? Or is there something to what he said? All right. But again, we don't talk about that because then we're exposing lies. We're talking about uh, the speculation of what may or may not be true. I mean, that's that's our purview here. But the media doesn't want that. They want you to believe exactly one single thing forever. And that's it. And they can fuck off for all I care. Like it, it, it's it's unbelievably dishonest. And uh, it, it's uh, it's ruining it's ruining us. It's ruining people. It's ruining the world. And so, again, who's to blame? Governments and the media. 